Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15 of the February uh, 2023. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today. I'm doing a, a, an extra premium problem just to challenge myself and also just, you know, get my money's worth. Um, I did get a request about 356, so let me take a look. Uh, and it is a premium problem and I haven't done it, so let's let's go for it. Okay, so today's bonus problem is 356 line refraction. All right, let's be given n points in a 2D point. Find if there's a, a line parallel to the y-axis, parallel to y-axis that reflects the points, the given points symmetrically. In other words, enter where there's a line which you have to reflect on over the given line. Which one's the y-axis? The vertical one, right? Uh, I always x y confuses me. But anyway, uh, the original point set is the same as the reflected one. Know that there can be repeated points. Okay, we can choose. Wait, what? Parallel to the y-axis. So y-axis is to... Which one is the y-axis? X-axis? Y-axis? I'm so confused now. Because the line x equals 0 is... Oh, no, no. The line x equals 0 is vertical. Okay. I am just being dumb. Okay. Um, in this case, it will be a diagonal. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, so... Uh, n is 10 to the 4th. Let, let's keep that in mind. Uh, let me also just type it. But, uh, so the really naive problem is that between any two set of points, um, there is a vertical line, right? And then... Between any two sets of points, there's a vertical line, right? Um, so with that, you can check whether that line is a good line, a, ref a good reflection line, um, by looking at everything and see if they match, right? So that's going to be n squared or n cubed, depending on how you do it. Um, I think the, the other way of thinking about it is that if a reflection exists, then it has to be the median, right? Um, I guess it could be odd. Do you count itself? Note that there can be repeated points. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, but I think in either case, it should be the median, right? Uh, and this could be the arithmetic median or the actual, you know, median, right? Um, on the on the x-axis, right? Um, and the reason is, I, I mean, I'm, hmm, uh, uh, to be honest, I think t to me, that is just intuition. I'm trying to, and I think you could probably prove it if you're very much stricter. I mean, I, I think the proof is just that um, you can prove that there are no two lines, right? For yeah, there there can be two lines because um, uh, they, 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 uh, they're not, they're, they're not two lines because that just doesn't make sense. I don't I don't know how to do these ge ge uh, I don't know how to do these geometry proofs to be honest. Uh, but I think median is probably what you're looking for because if there has to be one line and there can only be at most one line. Of reflection, um, at least with respect to vertical lines, because mm, yeah, because if you do like maybe other axes, there could be more, um, and in that case, it should be just the median. So yeah, so we can calculate the median, and then we just look at it again, right? So basically, we have you know, and here I don't know if I could do this, but. But uh, I'm just going to put them in a set. I, and I, I say that I don't know if we can do this only because I don't, I don't know how they expect us to treat repeated points exactly. Wait, let me, let me phrase this. The original point... Mm, line that reflects all points over the given line, the original points... Uh, exactly the same. So that means that it has to m match up. Like if the two on the left, it has to be two on the right. Is that right? We could test that actually. So like for example, if we do one one, one more. Then in theory, that should return true. If uh, or it will return false if they need to be matched up precisely. So we'll see what the. So if this returns true, which is very awkward the way they phrase it, right? The original point set. 
it's a little bit it's a really poor phrasing i think or i mean maybe like you can make sense of it but but there's a lot of guessing um and like a little bit a lot of imposition say right anyway um and then maybe I, you know, we do something like uh, x is is equal to da, 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 and then x is dot x, and then we can just do the median, um, and you can do this in linear time with median finding, of course. Um, hmm. But I am just lazy, so let's just say you know. Um, yeah, if length of x s is equal to, or if this is even. That's be at least one point, right? Okay. Uh, if this is even, then then it's just excess of. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I guess this is n, right? Let me think about this. If this is even, then we want, for example, if it's two elements, then we want zero and one, right? So it's this and and this. Um, over two, right? And and the line doesn't has to have to be on on the uh, on an integer. So, okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I know that I have to divide these by two, but I think what I'd rather do is actually times everything by two so that we don't have to. Uh, the y doesn't matter, yeah. Wait, does the y matter? Is the y the one that matters? I mean, I'm confusing my x's and y's. Uh, well, the y's don't matter because it's just the height, right? Uh, as long as they match. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then now I can do divided by 2 because I multiply by 2 anyway. Okay. Um, and then now we just have to look at it again. So maybe I, I do something like uh, refracted set, whatever, right? Um, what do we do? Uh, refracted at, so we have xy, we want to refract it over the median. So man, this, this part I always messed up. So if you have x and you have median, so it's x minus medium, median is the delta. And then, so you, okay, let's just write it out then, right? Delta is equal to x minus median, and then x minus um, delta times 2 is the refraction, right? So um, so this is the new x, right? And then now you can put it again, except for times 2, because just for, for, for matching, uh, return original is equal to refracted. Oops. Uh, hopefully this is right. Um, hmm. Mm, it's actually support. Maybe I'm, did I just... Okay, so the original is negative 2, 1, and then, oh, what is the median that I put here? The median should be 0. Oh, hmm. I see. Do we, that's actually that's actually a good edge case. Um, my median is wrong because my median is wrong because we we want the median of stuff that is deduped. So okay, eh, that's a little weird, but okay, fine. Um, I mean, at least uh, uh, it's not a little weird, but it makes my algorithm feels a little bit weird, uh, to be honest. Um, but, but this is why we test cases, um, it goes, okay, something like that, right? And then now it's not N anymore because of the dedupe, uh, mm, N2, I don't know. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Uh, am I good enough to YOLO submit? Let's YOLO submit. Oh, no. Expected true. That's what I thought I was testing for. Didn't I test this? Well, I, I mean, I didn't. I clearly didn't test this, but I thought I, I was thinking about it. That's why 
That's why we have this multiple times two thing, right? So then, okay, the median is at one, it's between zero and two. And then, so two goes to, um, did I times by two incorrectly? I don't know. Because points is always weird. Because points is the original thing, so then now you have the thing, and then now you stretch it after getting the delta. Oh, because the median is not dotted by two. Ugh. Uh, eh, a lot of silly mistakes. Okay, fine. Um, so okay. Hmm. So one is right, and then two. Oh, I see. Um, this this times two as well. Basically, a lot of uh, eh, because I I I created this new. Uh, equivalent dimension and it's just uh, maybe I need to I think what I should have done is just convert everything in the original points by times two then I wouldn't have to think about it but but I think I was trying to be like yeah let's keep it slightly cleaner and instead it, it was not because uh, what I should have done is something like this uh, And then now I don't have to do any of this. Uh, I mean, that part is still yucky though. But, and then I don't have to worry about any of this thing. Okay. Give us a minute again. Yeah, but I was just, I don't know. I was just trying to get away with it. Um, yeah, so I mean, I am sorting. So there's going to be n log n. But if you use a median, uh, if you use a linear median finding thing, um, you know, obviously, then this is going to be linear because I think this is the choke point, um, or this is the dominating function in terms of complexity, right? Everything else is all of one. Uh, you, have, you have sets, and these are all sets. So yeah, I mean, and the reflection is a set. Everything is all of one, and which combines to all of n, all of n, and yeah, and all of n. So it gets dominated by this. I'm I'm too lazy to kind of implement the media or the linear median finding but assuming that you can then this is going to be all of n times in total and also in space it's just all of n space just because we use a lot of sets in a lot of places but um don't know i, don't, I think you need a set in any case for a quick lookup so i don't think that's um i think linear space is uh at least the lower bound of what i'm doing in terms of just complexity um yeah that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this farm. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.